Today we're going to do a quick barrel clean on the buck mark here with some of the products from Modern Spartan Systems. So stick around. Hey crew, welcome back to the channel. And today we're just going to do a quick barrel clean on the buck mark using uh, the products here from Modern Spartan Systems. We've got the starter kit here, uh, and we're really only going to use two of the products. We're going to use the uh, copper lead destroyer. And then we're going to finish up with the Spartan Accuracy Oil. Now we're going to need a few other tools as well. So I've got my wheeler, a uh, little screwdriver set here. In case you're curious about my mat, this is basically a cut up t-shirt. Uh, also got a, another one here to use as a little rag. And then finally we're going to dive into my little range cleaning kit here. This is not my big cleaning kit. This is the one though that I broke out. Okay, now that we got all the tools and supplies I think we're going to need here, I'm going to start uh, taking this thing down. I want to take it down because the feed ramp here is on the barrel. Uh, it's a lot easier to take it down to get to that feed ramp. Uh, and I find it really important to make sure you keep the feed ramp, particularly in a, in a 22 long rifle clean. So uh, first thing we're going to do is check for clear, make sure everything is safe. We'll clear there drop the magazine set that to the side we will not be needing it now even though this is the first time for me using these products i am going to just kind of go through the methods i would normally go through while i was cleaning and uh, one of those is i do not like to start cleaning on a dry barrel so, uh, we're going to take us a uh, patch here, put a little bit of the uh, copper to lead destroyer on there, and uh, just kind of kind of get that barrel wet. Now one thing about these products is they are not harsh chemicals at all. Uh, we kind of tested that when we did the unboxing. I opened them up and smelled of them and yeah, they weren't that bad. It's actually fairly pleasant uh, now once I got it on the patch there. So we'll uh, feed that in through the pistol like so. You can see there it's got quite a bit of nasty. Throw that away, grab us another patch. I'm going to do that actually twice. Put a little bit on that patch. Let's get it damp. It doesn't have to be dripping. And we'll run it through again. I am impressed at the, uh, I don't want to say impressed at the smell, but it really is. They had uh, told us that on the Fire on Friday show, that uh, it did not have a harsh chemical smell to it, uh, and it doesn't. It's uh, a really pleasant smelling product. You can see we got a little more of the stuff there. Uh, there's actually some lead residue on that. I don't know if you can see that or not. That actually has lead residue. So you can see it dripping there. So it's definitely wet. Yeah, there's a little piece of lead you can see on the mat there. Interesting. Uh, not seeing anything really on the brush. Okay, though. 
this came in that Bushmaster kit. Uh, however, Remington does sell them too. I have quite a few of them. And these are these are kind of neat. I mean, they can save you from having to use just a ton of patches. They are rather reusable. So we're going to run this through, see if it picks up anything that maybe the patches didn't or couldn't. Oh yeah, look at there. It got some. Definitely got some dirt. Some gritty grime, so we'll take and wipe it off. So from what I've seen so far, looks like it's doing a pretty darn good job of getting the uh, yeah, getting the lead out of the barrel. Let's run a uh, dry patch through it now. Oh yeah, not an awful lot on that for sure. Now that we've got the bore clean, let's uh, let's proceed to uh, clean some of the other stuff, like the feed ramp and so forth. And you know what? Wow, that's not too terribly bad. <clears throat> Heck yeah, that uh, cleaned it up pretty good. Now this is a this is a precarious spot on a buck mark because if you get much build up here. What will happen is you can potentially get powder blowback because that bolt doesn't close properly. And of course right in here is our groove for our extractor like so. And then now let's get down into the feed ramp here just a little bit. So I'm going to put a drop again of the... Uh, the copper lead destroyer on there. Mm hmm. That uh, that looks pretty good. Real quickly here before we go too much further, <clears throat> because when we were cleaning that part of the barrel. I'm sure we got some of that uh, copper lead destroyer down the barrel. So let's run us a, a patch through there. Like so. Ooh, got that stuff on my hands. It's nasty. Now we're going to put a clean patch on here. I can get it in there properly and we're going to use some of the accurizing oil like so and make a pass maybe a couple of passes here down the barrel after all of this kind of the point of this accurizing oil Very nice. Not a lot of dirt or residue came out with that, so that's good. That means the uh, copper lead destroyer apparently did its work, right? Oh yeah, it's about, about as clean as you can ask for in most cases. So there you go. We've uh, got the barrel good and clean using the modern Spartan Systems uh, copper lead destroyer, as well as uh, finishing up on the bore with their uh, Spartan accuracy oil. So we'll see how that goes. If you've got any questions, be sure to put those down in the comments below. Be glad to, uh, to answer those if we can. 
and be sure to look for future videos as we test out these products from modern Spartan systems. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, remember to chain fire freedom.